Hello everybody and welcome back to another weekly update. So we're going to be doing another weekly update just like I did last week and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that. That got a huge response as far as comments, likes, and views go. So I'm going to do these, try to do them weekly or bi-weekly. So without further ado, let's get started and we're just going to do it old school like I normally do. Just go around the room, talk about what's new with products, what's new with um, Lego stuff and just kind of in general what's going on. So first off in front of the camera here You can see I've got a bunch of Valentine's Day Minifigures now these are going to be available at Bricks LA, which is in California, Los Angeles um, More info at BricksLA.com. I will be there for Friday night Saturday and Sunday Saturday and Sunday are the public days and this is a Lego convention if you're not already aware and uh once again, it's in the United States, California, Los Angeles. I believe it's the Pasadena Convention Center. Once again, more info, BricksLA.com. I will be there vending. These will be available. This is literally all I have. So there's two versions of this figure. So you have the white torso. If this will focus. So it says, Happy Heart Day. And then you got the kind of opposite, which is the red torso and white legs. And I personally like this one better. And then we do have one I did in purple just to see what it looks like. And that one looks pretty cool as well. So we got a bunch of different faces, um, hair pieces, hats, all sorts of different stuff. And uh, these will be available. And once again, this is all I have. I think there's around 25. So these will be there. Don't know how much they will be. Probably around $10. So keep that in mind. And then I did do some cool figures here. I remember I did these really simple figures for BrickCon about, oh, I don't know, three years ago, and you guys really liked them and ate them up real quick at the convention, so I wanted to do some more. So we did 10, get out the light glare here, we did 10 of these Marines, and they're actually in olive green, or at least the torso, and I think the contrast between the olive green and the dark tan looks really good. So there's 10 of these, and they have the yelling head, M1 pot helmets, and uh, I believe these will be selling for 10 to $15. And then we got some British soldiers. Now, these are in dark tan, dark tan pocket legs. And once again, the dark tan and tan pocket legs are finally back in stock on the website. I finally got around to printing more of those because I don't think I've had tan or dark tan in stock for about a year now. And then also, if you haven't noticed, both of these figures are utilizing my old torso design. That was the very first torso that I ever got custom printed. So I'm bringing that design back. I think they look perfect on these figures. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I made 10 of these guys and 20 of these. Whatever's not. So basically with like all of this stuff that I'm talking about, I just made this sp specifically for Bricks LA. And whatever doesn't sell, I'll put on the website and I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. Quick update on the Rolls Royce. Working on instructions, hopefully that'll be up within the next month. And then I did have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. So in here we have the World War I Germans. I'll flip this guy around. So these are back in stock as well. If it'll focus. There are 50 of these back in stock. And I know a lot of you guys really like these World War I figures I'm doing. So these are back. Finally, that took a couple weeks. And then, let's see in here, what else? Oh yeah, Pack-A-Punch machines and Juggernog machines are back in stock. Those two were like the most popular. And that also means that the full pack, if you want to get all five, so you got Pack-A-Punch, Juggernog, Speed, Cola, Double Tap, and Quick Revive. If you want the whole pack, you get a discount. And so now that's an option on the website. So those are back in stock. What else? There's a couple other things. Um, like I said, pocket legs, some other small things are back in stock as well. Um, what am I doing? Let's see, There's. I thought there was a bunch more. Maybe I'll think of it here in a second. Oh yeah, up here, a lot of you guys were asking me if I would do more of the Pokemon Go badges. So we got Team Valor, Mystink, and then Instinct is in there, the yellow I believe it is. Yeah. Um, so all of these will be going to Bricks LA once again. I don't know if I'll be able to put these on my website due to copyright, but uh, those will be at the convention if you want them. And uh, I think that's it for in here. Um, oh yeah, we do have the World War One anti-aircraft guns. We still have those, so those link in the description if you want to pick one of those up. And then the Vault Boys or the Pit Boys that I call them have a new packaging. So this looks really good, you know professional I guess you would call it so uh, we got those 
Moving out here, as far as the mock goes, the reason that episode 21 was kind of lackluster and I had to talk about figures was simply because last week I got sick on Sunday and so like not a whole, not really that sick, but over the week it just progressed and by about Thursday it stopped. So I really couldn't work on the mock, plus I had school and all that and I had like finals and whatnot. So hopefully I'll be able to do enough for this week or this weekend's video, which would be episode 22. But the problem is, I'm not going to be here, and i got to work and prep for Bricks LA, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get that elevation done maybe tonight, and maybe this elevation done. I just need enough content and enough built that I can do a video on it. Even if it's a short, you know, two, three minute video, I, I can't miss that deadline. So I'm going to have to pre-record that probably on Wednesday, because I don't have any school on Wednesday do that, get that up there, and then also I'll be doing a full in-depth review of the World War One anti-aircraft gun. That should be coming out, let's see, I believe Thursday, Thursday or Saturday. And once again, since I'm gonna be at Bricks LA in Los Angeles, I don't think I'll be able to do a live stream unless I bring my laptop, which is pretty, it's a pretty bad laptop as far as, you know, just processing and all that. So probably not gonna be a live stream on Saturday, those that don't know, I do a live stream every Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, so there'll be just a video posted instead. Um, and I just realized, guys, that I'm pumping out four videos every week. So I have the um, Sinai Desert Mocks here, so that's Sunday. Every Tuesday I post a video, every Thursday I post a video, and then Saturdays I do live streams. So that's four videos a week, which is pretty insane to me. Maybe we can up, up it to five, you know, in the coming weeks. I don't know if that's possible, but that'd be pretty cool. Also, I did get more of the Lego Batman minifigures. I got, so far I've only gotten like two duplicates, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see, why is the lighting? There we go. So I got like the Joker, I got a duplicate Harley Quinn, um, a duplicate of this one, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with these minifigures. I think they're really cool, especially this guy with that um, duck thing. I don't know what you'd call that, but this is kind of my minifigure wall. And then of course, I actually found this armor piercing um, 50 caliber round in a drawer, so I thought I'd throw that up there. And uh, I believe that's gonna be it for this update. I do have a couple new things that might be able to make it to Bricks LA. It just depends on if I have time to, you know, print them, mold them, and do all that within the next couple days. So I gotta prepare for that. I will be doing a video on my vendor table. I know a lot of you guys like to see that at every convention, so I, I will be doing that, and I might do a short video on the convention itself. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe um, to make sure you see those videos coming out probably next week once I get back. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, and thank you guys for all this continuous support with these videos. And uh, yeah, so make sure you go subscribe right here. Check out another video right there. And uh, if you want to see what the Sinai Desert Mock videos are about, click right here and see episode 21. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.